I, I want to ask you this question. Uh -huh. Are you a billionaire? No, I'm not. I'm not a billionaire. You I'm are? Not, I'm not even, I don't know. As for wealth, mm -hmm. I, I cannot say I'm a rich man. No, I can't say I'm a rich man. Then who are you then? I'm an I'm a average man. <laughs> I, I, every person, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Doc, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's all about a mindset. Yeah, yeah, because, because if I say I'm rich, yeah, right. If mm. I can't say I call myself I'm, mm. I'm rich, so I was in, I was in America, yeah, right. America, they have billionaire dollars, right. So if you have some cities, say you are billionaire, you know, Africa, apart from uh, Dangote, who is who is rich in Africa? Nobody. The fact I know and some few South Africans, Ghana, who is rich in Af Ghana? You are not no. This two by four money that we have. No, you know, so if you go and meet the actual billionaires in America, they made a lot of dollars in a, in a month, not hours. So for me, I don't see myself as a rich person. So don't be ordinary. See, you can say, good morning, good morning. Oh, but it's, it's, it's an ordinary thing. Good morning, say good morning. So what have you achieved? Have you achieved anything? But if you are a bit different, I say, oh, you are, you are a man. Right, so when people are sleeping, wake up. When everybody wake up, you know, uh, start crawling. When everybody, everybody's crawling, stand up. When everybody stand up, start walking. When everybody, everybody's walking, right, start, start jogging. jogging. When everybody's jogging, start running. When everybody's running, then you fly. My name is Watermaya, your one and only annoying village boy who is on a journey to change the negative narrative of Africa by celebrating African excellence. But my travels across Africa have made me come to conclusion that most successful African entrepreneurs are not known and celebrated by Africans. And this is why I feel like it's my responsibility to bring the unknown to the limelight. It's my responsibility to celebrate every single African who is doing something great to change the narrative of Africa. I am the believe in the motherland, celebrating every African. I am, I am, I am, I am, through Africa. Mr. Ghana, baby, Africa to the world. Listen, I just had to sing this song for you guys because I'm super excited. It's good to celebrate Africans that are changing the narrative of Africa in their own way. This is Ghana and this is not the capital city of Ghana. This is the western region of Ghana and the legend that I'm going to celebrate today This man was born in the forest. He grew up in this village. He left the city to hustle and he became the founder of this prestigious company that you and I boast of because this is a Ghanaian owned company. This is one of the highest paid tax companies in Ghana. Do you know the founder of Kesapreko? Will you ever believe that the person behind this great company was born in a forest? Listen, have you heard of Signature? This beautiful building that you're seeing belongs to him. Have you heard of Casa Globa? He's the man behind it. Have you heard of Amenfi Plaza? He's the man behind it. Have you heard of this mineral water that is competing with so many foreign-based mineral water in Ghana? You're not awake, so you better drink awake today so that you will be awake and celebrate your own. If I were you, from today onwards, the only water that I will ever drink is awake mineral water. This man has done a lot for this country and I believe that if you are an African, especially Ghanaians, if you are seeing this video, I'm pleading with you to share this video to anyone that you can. Let's celebrate our own. Let's celebrate this living legend. Let's celebrate the giants of Ghana together. Thank you. I believe that this story 
will blow your mind. And you believe it. Being born in the forest, you were born here? I was born here. I was born, I was born here. Did you for, grow up for, here? For, for, yes. For the first 13 years of my life, mm -hmm. it was here. I had never traveled anywhere but here for the first 13 years. How was childhood like, your childhood like growing up from here? Very challenging, eh? Because even here, mm -hmm. I was not living here in this cottage, this village. I was my mother and father. Only my father and my mother and myself in the middle of the forest. Middle of the forest? Uh -huh. So I used to walk about almost um, five miles in the morning to come to school here. This is where I started my schooling, on this very plot. This very plot. I wonder you, you used to walk two hours to come exactly, huh, yeah, from yeah. the forest in from here. The, yeah, huh, yeah. So it was, I think, class one, class two, class three, class four, class five, class, class six. This very plot. You know, and after school, I go back to the forest. Leave the forest, go out there, make it big, and come back and retire in the forest. I'm a villager. Mm -hmm. I want to live in a village. Eh? I live like a villager and eat what the villagers eat. You grow your own thing and eat your, your own thing, does it? So can I call you a village man? Yeah, village man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a village man. And when he retired, he decided to build himself a castle in the forest. But listen, this man is so modest to the extent that he doesn't even want to accept the fact that he's living in a castle. He called this place a house. You know, when I, when I build the family house, yeah. for my family, not my children, mind you, eh? That's the extended family. I'm the head of the Biana family, hmm. right? I'll show you the old building that I came to inherit. Heard. But you so, said this is a family house. It's a family house, yes. Right, I guess. I've got my private one at the back. But Doc, you're calling that place a family house? It's a family house, yes. I know, like, you're so modest. That's a family castle. Okay, I have family house because we had it before. <laughs> we had it before. We had it before. And if you're growing up, um, when I saw the, the ceiling, yeah. and the TNG that they did about 150 years ago, mm. I said, wow. You know, and that inspires me also to do something for generations. Yes. I was so inspired by my forefathers. You know, they had a, they, I thought they had a lot of wealth. But uh, because I came to meet the good ornaments, a lot of good ornaments, an ornament, a lot. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So I believe the family in general was rich, but along the line, you know, they lost it. They, they lost it. But after being there, I think that is a castle from heaven to earth. But you know why so many people don't know this man? Because he's not loud. He makes his work speak for himself. I don't believe being out there would add any value to what I'm doing. You see, uh, you know, what, I, what I'm talking about, you see, eagle. When the eagle wants to hunt, you know, it it's steadies uh, its prey, you know, and go direct straight and pick it. You know that, mm. the sea. Yeah. If you, even they can even catch snakes, you know, yeah. steady and pick it and suddenly it go. So I focus, not being flamboyant, you know, uh, so, so mine is focus, focus, focus. So probably most of you have seen his product out there, but you don't know that he's the man behind it. Let me help you. Casa Preco. Signature. I mean, this beautiful building that you've been seeing in Accra belongs to him. Residential is about signature. Signature. Signature is one of our, our uh, that is our as my name because it's a signature. So it's a, it's a, it's a different um, design altogether. Okay. It's about 230 apartments. Why the name signature? It's my signature. Because, because, because I give the name. That's my signature. <laughs> 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 but I believe that you and I didn't know that this building belongs to him. And you know why? Uh, not, not everything that you do that for publicity. Exactly. That's why, for me, I'm not a media person. Uh -huh, really, I, I don't like the media, but sometimes you cannot hide. Yeah. That's why I'm, I'm giving this interview I, to you. A lot of people call me for interview. This is what I did. Once it comes out, they start calling me and accusing me. 
why did you give interview to uh, oh, Maya? Am I? <laughs> about, about you, I told, I told I want you to come and interview you. He said no. Aha. Uh -huh. But Amaya okay, is uh -huh. special, yeah? Okay. You guys yeah. need to understand yeah. that. He does not grant interviews, but I guess I found an interview about him in 2016 when he won the EY World Entrepreneurship of the Year. Dr. Kwabena Ajay, um, you're a group chairman at Casa Preco, and you are obviously an entrepreneur of the year in Ghana. Congratulations for that. You're quite an inspiration to a lot of us entrepreneurs. We've got a lot of young entrepreneurs who are watching the show right now. A lot of us start businesses, but we fail to run them for a longer period. How have you been able to succeed in business, sir? Businessmen, they, we have the same attitude, the same flair. To be successful in business, first, you should have a passion to succeed. You know, because I always say that nothing succeeds better than success. Can you believe it? The whole world picked him from Ghana to celebrate him. I want us to celebrate this man today. Share this video, share this video to your dad. If you are a dad and you're watching this video, you can share this video to your children. Let them get to know this living legend, living in Ghana that our people are not celebrating him. But since he was born in the village, he only granted this interview because I'm the village boy. But yo, it's not just because I'm the village boy. I'm the new son in the family. So no, 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 no. You're my son. Yeah, oh, I'm not a son, uh -huh. yeah? You're my son. Uh -huh. uh, and after spending time with him, I came up with a conclusion that he is a visionary. Well, yes, because um, with that vision, you get lost. Any, any human being with that vision, you get lost. Right? So that's why some people get stuck. They go in the circle, it's called a rat race, right? Mm. But these things, for me, I, I, I am an old man. Right? I'm not doing it for myself. I'm doing it for future generation. It has to be generational thinking. Do, do you think generational wealth is something that Africans should look into? It's very important. It's very important because you, you pass on. You see, like, like a route. You know, you, a, you, you made a path mm. and then your generation will definitely go uh, to the path. You know, yeah. So for me, I am, as a, as a family head, I'm reading for my family, mm. my immediate family, and also even my extended family. family. So I, I'm taking good care of my, I'm taking care of my family members' educa education. Yeah. Every member, I didn't tell you yesterday, every member mm -hmm. from my clan, mm -hmm. you know, who qualifies for university education, mm. I sponsor him or her, you know, so that you can you get a base of your, your clan. You know, my, my children, I'm doing the same thing. My grandchildren, I'm doing the same thing. You know, I set up a fund for my grandchildren. Whoa. An educational fund, yes, all of them have got it. You know, so that when do we reach 18 years that they're going to the university level, right? Yeah, whether their father have money or not, their grandparents have already set up the fund for them. This man is an industrialist. Yeah, my name is William Akunu Atta. I'm the Senior Manager of Research and Development for Herbal Farms and Research Limited. This is the first out of, of Group Chairman. This is where he used to live. And this is where he started Casapraco Company Limited. We currently use it for the production of concentrates for Casapraco Company Limited. Because it grew out of proportion. You know, you produce and we are, we are loading on the streets, selling the sun and loading, you know. But fortunately for me, because of the generational thinking, I have already had acquired a land as Pinterest Road, our current location, you know. So uh, at, a, at a point, we said, let's go and build a factory because you cannot be loading uh, inside the, uh, the sun. You know? mm -hmm. that it's, really, it's raining, you have to cover it quickly with the tarpaulin. So that's where we, I went to Germany to also go and buy same meat can hand automatic machine, lines. And so right now, when we came to our new facility, yeah. we are no more doing manual washing again. And then we have trans transited from the uh, manual washing to, uh, to semi automation. So I went to Germany to buy the used machinery from Germany. We did that for almost about 
maybe five years or more, you know. And then the Nigerians came in. The Nigerian head of the product, Alumobitus especially. Yeah. And then they started coming in, right? So I made a line. Now that the money was coming, actually. So I wasn't receiving the money also. But because I was really facing the business. So I bought another, another line for Nigeria. And it could not even survive them. No, they come and say, I, 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 Oga, Oga, I've been here for two weeks. They don't load me. They don't load me. You know. So actually, that prompted me eh, to go and buy a brand new line from Crohn's. You know, a brand new fast line from Crohn's. At the point, uh, one line was doing about 35,000 bottles per hour. Wow. And even the Crohn's book asked me, Are you going to use it line for water? Or alcohol, it's alcohol. But Nigeria was, it was, uh, it was booming in Nigeria. You know, they just were buying a lot. This man right here is a philanthropist, and his philanthropic works is on another level. When he returned back to his village, he decided to transform the entire village. Can you believe it? Let's start from the personal level. Because he's a family man, he decided to transform his family house into what? A family castle. He built a school for his own people. I was able, I built a school for them. I built a computer lab for them. They have, they have internet through other um, people's And uh, I gave them lights, pool. From the beginning, that's probably 30 years ago. Wow. I bought a light pole. They put the light poles on, not to see the government, and the government brought the, the wires. Nice. Uh, so when I built a house, I built a school also. Uh, for them. So when I was here, I was like a headmaster here. The teachers have to come to uh, school early because I'm watching you from here. <laughs> the, 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 the children know that I was watching them mm. when, when I was here. Yeah, yeah. But that's how your, your, your house is opposite the school. Uh -huh, yes, yes. And he realized that you can have education, but health is important. And he realized that there is no hospital in the entire village and all the villages surrounding it. So he decided to build them a modern polyclinic. And then um, I built uh, the clinic recently. Hmm. Yeah, polyclinic um, with, a, with a theater, with s -ray. Children's ward, me ward, uh, treatment room, lab, it is there right now. You know, so I did that one too. Welcome to Godawa Polyclinic, a facility being put up by Katapako Company Limited. Okay. okay. So being put up as in? As in it was built and then furnished by Katapako. You mean Company. everything here? Everything you see around is from Katapako Company Limited. Not from the government? No. The village that he was born did not have water, so he decided to dig a borehole to supply water to the entire village. He didn't want to make life in the village so boring, so he decided to use his network to bring MTN to the village to connect internet across the entire village. So when I was there, I was using internet. I never felt like I was living in a village. He realized that since this village is going to have some kind of fan vibe, there are some people that would definitely misbehave. So he decided to what? Bring police station. He built it himself. And the public servant that are coming to the village to serve the government, he gives his own house to them. I gave my first building that I built when I was 24 years at Vaku time, 24, 26 years around that time. So, 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 it was a very nice building, but I gave it out to the teachers. Then my father's house, recently, I also you know, put it in good order to give it to uh, the teachers. I was born in the village, and the first time I used water closet was when I found myself in China. So places like this, water closet is too modernized for them. So he decided to transform this. Because I also did the, the toilet facility with flashing facility. We are even yet to commission it. Probably we commission it this week. You know, where for the first time, everybody who comes here will go and have a so where you can flash and then 
we have done biogas. Yeah. So that the biogas, we're trying to see if we can use even the gas to do so something later on. So that's how it is. This is used to be the toilet that the villagers use and they still use it. It's not like they're not using it anymore. They still how, how use it you know? and decided to transform you, how, how what you you're seeing right now to what is like oh. over there. I was, I was very busy. You don't think a man like this needs to be celebrated? I have been there before. I mean, this I that say, he's talking about, it's not like we're making it up, but I've lived a life like this before, where you just go squat, do your thing, I see. and you don't even have tea roll or paper. You use the bushes, scrub your, and then you go back home. So the that I was talking of is food, right? Security, communication, medicals, right? Uh -huh. And ed education. We have these things in your village. If you're in Tema Accra and I'm, I'm here. There's no difference. There's no difference. This village have everything. And I felt like there's one thing that is missing. I never knew that the visionary man had it in mind. I, when I came here, mm -hmm. we set up about five year development plan for the village. You know, where we said, okay, we we'll do a school, we we'll do a police station, we we'll do a clinic, right? And the, a bank is coming here very soon. Yesterday they were here. You know, a, a small uh, bank is coming here, so where the cocoa farmers can easily go and uh, deposit their money, you know. Um, also inspire, uh, um, I mean, keeping money. Mm. I'm not spending it because the money is with you. The tendency that you can spend it is very easy. But you know, if you bank at the bank, you know, yeah. So, so that's why I'm helping the villagers to set up a bank, small bank. You know, so I already spoke to, I mean, Fima Royal Bank. They have rented a, um, a facility here, and they are going to start operating their bank very soon. So very soon, there will be a bank here. And after spending time with him, I found out that. He's also religious. I mean, I feel like successful people that I have come in contact with are so religious, and he is not an exception. I believe in God. Yes, whatever you do, for me, that's, that's my belief. Hmm. Yes, I believe that all this that I, have, I passed through, there, there might be something it's behind it. Uh -huh. And also, I believe that there's life, life at a death. Okay. Because the Bible says that, you know, um, at a point, God will raise both the living and the death. You know, that's why Jesus Christ also raised Lazarus. You know, when, when he was there for three or four days, right? Mm, yeah. To show you that what he has done today, it can be done tomorrow. Can you believe that he built a church for God? When I saw what this man has been able to achieve and knowing where he was born, there was this question that was going through my mind. How would someone born in a place like this come this far? Yeah. So does it mean that anyone can be successful? I believe so. I believe so. It's about, about, about the determination. It doesn't matter where you're born. No, 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 no. No, it doesn't matter where, where you're born. It's, it's about, you see, I think uh, this thing about um, success, right? Mm -hmm. if, you are, if you are poor, or if you are born in a very poor environment, it's just like you are being put in a hole, you know, a hole. But if you are, if you are determined, you cannot remain in the hole forever. You know, you have to come up, struggle to come up. That the struggle is what most of us are not able to struggle to come up. So we are born in, in the in the hole, we stay in the hole and die in the, the hole. hole. Your children will also come. They are born in the hole. They die in the hole. Then their children come. In. Then you got the right race, you know, right race. You are going round, 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 round. You know, so um, you need to struggle to come up. Uh -huh. You need to struggle to come up. And that just struggle is yourself, not me. Everybody individual. So uh, nobody can raise hold your hand and bring you up. It's you. It's, it's, that's why it's a mental attitude. What are the things that you've done in this country, yeah, in Ghana, that 
nobody knows that you're the one behind it. I, 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 this is, I know you don't like talking about this is this is for me. What are the things that you've done, apart from everybody know you to be Casa Preco? What are the things that you've done in the country oh, that nobody uh, knows uh, that you well, did Well, it? well um, initially, yeah. let's say I, I heard that uh, there's uh, somebody delivered at a hospital, hmm. you know, and then he's detained because he cannot pay the, the fee to, to be discharged. I just told my um, officer, 2,000 Ghana cities. Uh, yeah, let's go and pay. You know, you go and pay, and then after the charge, the, the guy will tell me that uh, uh, the, the, the people want to come and thank me. Say, you know, I, I don't you know need what? to be thanked. I don't need to be thanked, you know. So that sort of, if you have small money and you give some hours, and you, that, will, that will not let you, that will collapse you or collapse your company. Exactly. Why don't do it? That's why this place, this, this place, at a point, mm. I was taking care of everybody in this, uh, everybody who, uh, everybody who goes to the school. Everybody from this town had a special for me. Everybody. Wow. Yeah. Because I thought I, I could afford it. So why don't I give to somebody who can afford it? One thing that I really want you all to know that successful people start from somewhere. And this is how he made his first money. Uh, you know, how I made my money, I'll tell you this story. Hmm. Because I was on the, on the street for some time, yeah. it toughened me up, right? So just imagine you being on the street for some time with, with guys, you, 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 and then getting a formal employment. That's easier. Easy. <laughs> because I have friends now. Yeah. So in the morning, oh, Charlie, you, you brought, uh, you brought um, Kenke, I'll come and eat. So when I, when I joined the Valco, we made Susu. Susu. And uh, I think this is that you made, you take all the money this month. Mm. It's for you. All 100 percent Right? The next month is Give for this person. person. And next month, so I was the last person to take it. So I think about the seventh month I took also the money. That's how I get the money to be trading. That, that is the story. And that's the money that I had to today hasn't left me. And not that I had money from a loan from anybody. That's just that, money that, that I had. That's money. I had, that I had. You know, that's how I've nurtured it from, from that time to this time that money has never left my hand. On behalf of all Africans, Dr. Kobena Ajay, we say, are you cool? And listen, I got a chance to spend three days with him. I can go for fishing, catch and eat. Let, 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 let's, let's do this one. You, catch, you eat what you catch. Let's go. I, I'm, I'm ready. Yes, okay, so we'll give you a net. If you don't catch... You are not eating. You are not eating. <laughs> <laughs> and that three days that I spent with him, I decided to do almost five videos. So the whole channel, this week, we are celebrating the living legend. My dad, I mean, my new dad, whether you like it or not. Well, since he's a village boy, I you. uh, you're not a village boy. <laughs> you're a village uncle, man. <laughs> the village man on this platform so stick and stay subscribe to be part of this channel the videos might be probably long because imagine all his life without an interview and what am i is here i'll bring all the details out so most of the videos that i'll be uploading next week might be 30 minutes 40 minutes even an hour so yeah stick and stay subscribe like the video share to your friends and family i will really want the president to repost this video for me can we make it happen tag his excellency i feel like this man right here needs an honorary award from the president i'll see you all in the next one i hear my peace out oh,